In an emergency, we need to respond as quickly as possible. But speed alone is not enough. We need to know where we're going and why. When disaster strikes, we need accuracy of communication as well as speed. Fire service. Quick, do come up. What is the house on fire? House on fire? What, uh, what, what's the address, lady? What, uh, what address is it? What, what is the address, please? Grimshaw Street. Grimshaw Street. Grimshaw. Now, wait a minute. I know it as well as can be, and I can't just place it. Oh, Grimshaw. come along. It's only just down no, there. No, no, no. Don't tell me. Let me think of it myself. 156 High Street. What town are you in? When we communicate with both speed and accuracy, then we can get to a disaster on time. And with the right safety system, we may prevent disasters like this from happening at all. In an ever more complex world, we need a different kind of communication system. Oscar Tango 1, could you attend the report of a serious injury RTA, please? M6 One that can see farther than the human eye, react faster than the human brain, and send vital information speeding to our emergency services. What town are you in? This is Medic 15, receiving call, over. M6 northbound, just south of Junction 10. Then, to protect us from the potentially lethal power of our own technology, we need highly sophisticated, up-to-the-minute safety systems to prevent our centers of power from damaging the environment and harming people. We need the ultimate power that a safety system gives us, of being in control. Cyphus Restbury, makers of some of the world's finest communications and safety systems, put their clients in control. CRI safety systems are custom designed to prevent disasters from happening. It's their job to see this doesn't happen to their clients. They ensure that life in all the kingdoms they survey remains serenely calm. The idea of a company like CRI was born on an oil platform in the North Sea in 1978. Restbury, a company specializing in safety systems and the control of process plant, were installing one of their integrated safety systems when they discovered the importance of working with experts like Cyphers from the parallel field of communications technology. The companies sensed that their separate, highly developed business and engineering skills would make a perfect match. So in 1988, they joined together as Cyphus Restbury CRI. CRI are based in the old market town of Biggleswade in Bedfordshire. Just 40 minutes from London, the town is a convenient communications centre with a growing industrial base. Good morning, CRI. CRI are a company with a worldwide reputation whose greatest asset is their brain power. I think it'll go through the roof on price. These are engineers who've spent all their professional lives in the front line of a non stop revolution in technology. The current scout. My own modules. I don't think it would sell. No. I don't think... Uh, I'm not even sure if the... Uh, the ideas that surface here will be passed on to the backroom scientists at CRI's factory just down the road. The CRI team design, develop and put together everything the company produces. And the range is astonishing. From the tiny circuit boards designed to filter out signalling tones, to battery chargers that keep miners' breathing equipment functioning underground. 
to the massively complex safety systems designed to protect great centers of power. When you first come to the C10 equipment, you can see that it's got many channels which are apparently the same. Each one of those channel units we can see... Consists Meanwhile, of in another part of the factory, today's clients are being trained to use tomorrow's technology. The They'll leave here expert users of the latest communication system. Are there any questions as far as I've gone up to now? How long would it take um, for one of your service engineers to uh, get it on site? I mean, uh, Norfolk Police have chosen to use CRI communication systems. They know the men who designed and built the system will keep it operating smoothly. Recently, the system was put to the severest test during the Norfolk floods. Well, basically, the flood started on the north of Norfolk, moved around the coast and back into inland towards the city and down towards the south of the county. And this room, using this equipment, was able to be the central control monitoring all the systems. The equipment performs very well. Uh, we've had it a little while now and we're very, very pleased with it. Tango November 7. Tango November 7. Now, the policeman on the beat or in the patrol car can be reached at the push of a button as an all-points bulletin speeds across the network. Yes, Roger, take it November 7. Any suspects or anything over? Suspect thought to be a white male between 5'8 and 5'10. Light brown hair, mid-twenties, wearing blue jeans and a green jumper. Yes, all received, thank you, 7 uh, VK, stand up. Yeah, all right, all right. One of the advantages of having a multi-channel sci-fast system is that on motorway work, when crossing over force boundaries or county boundaries, in case of emergency, at a flick of a switch, I can talk to my neighbouring police forces instantly. On a motorway incident, in cases of dire emergency, uh, speed is of the essence. CRI's communication systems operate at major international airports, as well as at regional heliports like this one near Yarmouth. They can be adapted for use on any scale to ensure a smooth flow of traffic. On an ordinary day, they help to keep things calm. But in an emergency, those CRI systems supply a vital link. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a pretty big fire. Should be, be now. Way too, Emergency know. services need split-second, high-precision backup, and they get it from CRI. The fire brigade's network may be linked to a paramedical unit. Within seconds, a doctor is racing to the scene. Not so long ago, driving was an unnatural hazard, even with fewer cars on the road. Today, when our six-lane highways bulge at the seams with traffic, CRI's communication systems come to the rescue. The equipment is excellent and enables even the officers outside to talk from uh, to the control room or direct to each other. The equipment was put in about 12 months ago. It's an excellent piece of equipment, instantaneous response, and it enables us to speak to officers outside. Generally, there are about 20 officers on per shift. They can talk to us instantaneously and they can talk to each other instantaneously. There's no traffic in this desolate byway, but CRI are present here too, helping to safeguard the environment of this huge landfill near the city of Leicester. It looks like the end of the world. In fact, it's a blueprint for a better one. 
The decaying waste here is 200 feet deep, and it gives off potentially dangerous gases. And this is where CRI come in. Their specially designed safety system scrupulously monitors the gas levels in this vast site. If the quality of the methane gas is high enough, it'll be harnessed and fed into the national grid. Waste is recycled and the environment is protected. It's CRI acting as first line of defense wherever the environment is under threat. Around the world, CRI uses its electronic know-how to anticipate disaster before it happens. This is how their safety systems work. It's almost as though they had a built-in alien whose job is to constantly test the defender's own defenses. CRI's safety systems are needed where the accumulation of power is greatest, as it is here at St. Fergus in Scotland, which processes 25% of all North Sea gas. The gas is piped several hundred miles to terminals like Romford. And again, CRI is the protector. Well, the Cyprus Respiratory System acts as an emergency shutdown system. And in the event of any failure of the normal control system for the gas holders, the Cyprus Respiratory System will come in and uh, ensure that everything's safe. Yes, I think our grid control uh, uh, people sleep more easily at night. We're, we're not quite so happy. We don't get the overtime for call-outs. At every point on its long journey from the North Sea, this volatile source of energy is checked and rechecked by CRI safety systems until finally it emerges safely in the homes of millions of users. CRI safety systems are designed to expect the worst and to snuff it out in advance. High integrity safety systems do their job invisibly, like the nervous system of the human body. And like the human body in a highly accelerated state of evolution, the safety systems that CRI design are constantly being developed and improved. They're built to go on working well beyond the lifetime of the plant they're protecting. And they can improve a working environment as well as protect it. It's acknowledged that CRI's safety systems have in the last few years dramatically reduced danger levels on oil platforms. Okay, checking back on the notes of the last meeting, uh, we highlighted four industries that we want to target. Those four targets are primarily pharmaceuticals, number two is water, number three food, and fourth is fine chemicals. Today, CRI are looking for new markets where their unique blend of design and service skills can be exploited. They're almost alone in offering integrated communications and safety systems. See what's happening in the pharmaceutical industry at the moment. Well, as you say, really. Wherever high integrity safety systems are needed, whenever the emergency services are called, And wherever there's a need to protect and control the environment, you'll find CRI. For nearly a quarter of a century, our great institutions and centers of power, wherever they may be, have been entrusting their protection to CRI. There could be no greater vote of confidence in Cyphus Restbury, C-R-I.